last video, we set up and programmed a deburr toolpath using a custom specialty lollipop tool from Amugi Franken. In this video, I want to kind of talk about something that's very unique to deburr and something I discovered on this radar mount. You can actually program three-axis chamfers with multi-axis deburr. Let's take a look. So this first toolpath is a typical deburr toolpath where we've got a lollipop end mill running around and breaking the edge of a part, full simultaneous five axis. Now the other thing we can use deburr for is a standard ball end mill. I can even lock it to three axis and get some really nice toolpath that could be run on a standard three axis machine. Remember, just because you have multi-axis or five axis toolpaths doesn't mean you need a five axis multi-axis machine to drive them. Right? I can run these multi-axis toolpaths like a multi-axis deburr on a three-axis machine simply by locking the tool axis control to three-axis along the z-axis. And the end result is what you see here. Now let's take that a step further and look at deburring the top edges of these parts. We can do it in the same way we did with that ball end mill. In this case, I'm using a lollipop. I'm locked to three-axis and going around the part. Now, the problem with a ball end mill is that it doesn't actually leave a square edge, right? Because that is not a flat flank, it is a radius, it's actually leaving a radius edge on that part. So let's launch Verify for this toolpath. I'm going to run through this pretty quickly. And then on the Verify tab, I'm going to use a XZ clipping plane. What happens with a ball end mill is that you actually get a large radius formed on the edge of the cut. Typically for deburr, that's absolutely fine. But something that's very neat is that you can actually drive a chamfer mill with the deburr toolpath. So if I go to this last toolpath, I'll open it up and I'm going to select an eight millimeter chamfer mill. I'll leave everything else the same. So this program's just like a typical deburr. The one difference, and this is a new feature that was introduced with Mastercam a couple releases ago, is we now have this tool contact. Mastercam is intelligent and knows we need to use this tool contact switch for this tool type, a chamfer mill. I'm going to set that right to 50% of the step over, so that's going to put the center of the flutes on the center of the edge. Using a chamfer mill will give us a nice square planar edge on that deburr cut. Now the other advantage here is that chamfer mills are typically more rigid or have better flute designs. You can run them faster and get a better surface finish. So there's a few advantages here. What this also means is I can use deburr to program just straight planar faces as well. I could come in here, go to cut pattern, add a couple more user-defined edges. I'll grab that edge and that edge. So with these generated, I can go in and back plot this again, and you'll see I get a really nice chamfer milling toolpath around those flat edges, as well as a full 3D chamfer on those radius edges. So this is a very versatile toolpath that I would use all the time on my three axis machines as well. Whether we're using a lollipop, a ball end mill, a tapered end mill, or in this case, a chamfer mill to deburr that part and take handwork out of secondary operations.